uh, obviously first goal. Just talk about the feeling there and, and the journey to get to it. Yeah, I mean, it, it took longer than expected. Uh, I really wanted to get one last year, obviously, but it was good to get one off my back tonight. Uh, quick shot to the net, and everyone was happy for me, so it was nice. Coach mentioned uh, from last night's game, you know, there were some things that he wanted you to fix in it uh, to tonight's game. Just talk about the, the quick turnaround and, and, you know, making those adjustments for tonight's game in your, your own game. Yeah, I talked to the coaching staff. I needed to have a bounce back game. I had a few mental errors last game, and uh, I thought I did a good job. Uh, better game management out of me and the entire group. So it was, it was a good one. In terms of uh, the whole group, uh, talking to uh, Thomas Harley earlier in the year, he mentioned you're kind of one of the one of the veterans, only two years in. Talk about being seen as a leader on this team and acting in that regard. Yeah, I mean, I would say we got a, a pretty young decor, but everyone's been playing solid. We got a bunch of guys back there that are leaders. None of us have letters, but that's okay. And, and we're going to do whatever it takes in the back end to stay as a solid group. And then finally, uh, speaking of Harley, you know, that that's kind of a traditional tandem, right? Where you've got an offensively minded D man and a defensive minded D man. How's that pairing working out over the five games you guys have played in so far? It's fun. I mean, my entire career I've played with offensive guys and Harley being a first rounder is a very skilled player. So it's uh I like I like playing with them a lot. Joe, right. when you when you look at uh, just the overall breakdown of the game and, and the ability to continue to pour more into the hockey game. Was it frustrating on the bench? How did you guys take it every time they were able to battle back and tie the game back up with you guys? Was it a motivator? Was it frustrating? Where was it from your end? Well, I would say we're, we're not a frustrating group. We stay calm and collected on the, on the bench and just whoever's up next gets the job done. And obviously, we had a much better uh, team defense tonight, which, which helped us out big time. And all in all, just uh, talking about Thomas Scholl and, and his first AHL win, um, it seemed like he really, really buttoned up in the third period and, and really played some good hockey. Uh, probably the best we've seen of him this season. What was your thought? I mean, yeah, I mean, talk to any guy on the team. He made some huge saves and, and obviously kept us in that game and, and was a big reason why we won. So it was a huge congrats for him on his first win. And uh, let's jump over to John. I'm still unable to record, but I, I know you guys, um, you lost the home opener, but how, how nice was it to get a little payback? Yeah, I mean, this group, we're not going to lose two at home. That was a big thing going into the game. There was a lot of mental errors that we needed to clean up. We had a long video session this morning and planned all the details for a big win, and every single guy came out and did just that. And what do you want to see you guys get better at, I guess, just before the next game? I mean, it's still early in the season, so I would say everything, but team defense needs to be uh, much better. I mean, better communication all around.